Hello, 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 and welcome to your character education. This is the place where you learn each month's big idea. A big idea is something that goes inside of you to change the world around you. We've learned a lot of important big ideas, and this is one that I want you to lean in and pay close attention to. My co-host, Andrew, is here somewhere. I've seen him, so he should be here soon. But for now, I just want to jump into the big idea. So why don't we do a drum roll? You can do it on your legs. Here we go. Three, two, one. Repeat this after me. Individuality is discovering who you're meant to be so you can make a difference. This is going to be a great month. You're going to learn all about individuality and you made it almost on time. I'm like sorry. 30 I'm, seconds. I'm sorry that I'm late. You're getting closer. Uh, well, okay. Look, I have a solution. All right. You have a solution. I wasn't aware we had a problem. Okay. Well, that's where my uncanny and natural ability to stress <laughs> out about the appearance of any kind of tension that comes in, you know, it comes in handy. It's like a problem radar. Like I can, okay. I can break out in hives just laying in my bed wondering if the banana on the counter is going to be brown by the next morning. That's, um, um, that's weird. Okay, anyway, <laughs> since everybody has been talking about individuality all month. No, no, no. We just started, like, literally. Uh, and just. there are all kinds of people trying to be individuals on the interwebs. No, that's true. I have noticed some, you know, I've noticed more and more people like me who are really stressed out about it, okay? I mean, how can you compete with all the individuals who are trying to be individuals together? Well, oddly enough, you're starting you to know, make sense. With InstaFace and Twittergram and Click Clock, I mean, it can just get so crazy, too stressful, so I figured out a way around it. Andrew, you actually have a really good idea here. If social media is stressing you out, I, I think you could put it away for a little while, focus on the things that are most important in your life. Okay, I, I need to post selfies. Okay. Yeah. I, I you know, <laughs> selfies, it's, it's, it's kind of my main hobby. I've done the classics, like the heart hands, and, or sorry, put my fingers up, <laughs> the heart hands, and pouty lips, and... Fish face, and I've done the the holding the sun up and holding the moon up, and yeah, it's just I've even done the blooming flowers, you know, and the pistol fingers. <laughs> I just didn't realize there were so many options. Yeah, for... well, I've been waiting on people to give me likes. It's really stressing me out. Okay? okay, all right. I had rashes, you wouldn't believe. All right, so I invented a brand new way to do selfies. That's cool and all, but I don't think selfies is what we're okay, talking look, about. Okay, look, look, look. We all know the problem with selfies, Corey. You, you have to post them online to see if, you know, anybody likes them, and you face rejection and ridicule being compared to other people that sometimes work with you on stage. And... Are you talking about me? Yeah, okay. So, I thought, why not make a selfie for myself? Like... That way, I can just share it with anyone I want to, you know, and that's how I invented this. It's a camera <laughs> that prints a picture just minutes, seconds after you take it, and you, you can actually mm -hmm. see it come into focus in your hand. You don't have to post it anywhere. You, you, don't, have to, you don't have to have a smartphone. You don't have to be stressed, Corey. So... You invented this. This was your idea. Yeah, I, well, uh, okay. Well, I mean, I thought it up, but just so happens someone else has already made the camera. I just, I bought it. I'm pretty speechless right now. Okay, so the hardest part was coming up with a name, you know? I was, took my first selfie with it, and I noticed that I was in a polo, you know, a polo shirt, mm -hmm. and I had some steroid cream for the rash that I was telling you about, um, you know, it's a selfie. So I decided to call it the Polaroid selfie machine. Okay. Yep. Yeah. Huh. So I can tell you're impressed by it. I can tell. I can tell. But but wait until you see this baby in action. Here, look. Okay. We just we push this button. Okay. If I remember how to do this right. 
Okay. All right. So lights are on. Yeah. Oh, it just beeped. Did you hear that? It's a good thing in my ear. Right. Oh, you can be. Cool. Yeah. Ready? Did, All right. Did it go? It made the sound. Okay. And just a second. Oh, there it goes. Oh. 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 So it, it is instant. It's kind I of like it. a Polaroid. I hear it. Okay. Oh, oh, listen, Corey. Listen. Are you out of... Look, oh, here, no. here it comes. Okay. Here it comes. Oh, it's coming into focus. Look, look. Mm -hmm. Look at this. Is look, this Corey! <laughs> there I am. But well, you should be there too. So, oh, you're kind of half... You're, oh, you're in there. Check that out. Look at that. Cute. Okay. All right, I'm gonna, I'm gonna put this down. First, more, just put it back in my back pocket. Hold on to this. Okay, first, um, this is amazing. I agree. And I, I gotta admit that yeah. uh, you could use this for some good projects when it comes to individuality. You know, yeah. what we're talking about today. Yeah, but but technically, to be a selfie, like I, I have to be in the picture. So if I, you know, like if I took pictures of other people, it wouldn't be selfies. It would. Like it has to, I have to be in it, and then I got to post it on the bulletin board in the hall. Oh, well, don't get me. stressed about it. We can figure it out later. For now, though, you might want to, I don't know, change the name of this incredible invention of yours. Well, if I leave off <laughs> selfie machine, then it would just be called Polaroid. Like I don't think Polaroid camera would stick. I don't think that would catch on. Well, we'll see. Maybe though, for now, we could work on maybe figuring out how to talk about images and, and create a game or something like that for everyone that's watching at home. Uh, you could use some creativity. Remember we talked about that and figure out this individuality thing. Okay, okay, okay. Okay, yeah, so maybe we should go backstage, like you said, I like that okay. idea. And you could give my genius room, you know, give it some more space to flourish. I would love to give you all the space you need though. For now, let's check out this video. Hey guys, it's Markel here. Have you ever wished you were someone else? Maybe someone who could do this. How about this? What about this kid? Looks pretty smart. Wow, what about this? <laughs> Sometimes I get caught up in the amazing things that others do too. I wonder if what I do is good enough or cool enough. You know what though? I've learned that who I am is important. There are things that I can do that no one else can, in ways that no one else can. And guess what? The same goes for you too. You are special. You are unique. You are important. There is no one just like you in the world. And I consider myself lucky that I get to come to your classroom every month and talk to you about these big ideas that can make you even more incredible. So let's do what we always do, but this time, do it with the confidence that you are you, and you are unique and special. Ready? Individuality is discovering who you are meant to be so you can make a difference. One more time, individuality is discovering who you are meant to be so you can make a difference. <laughs> we'll see you again next month. Hey there. I'm MC Haggis, the world's greatest Scottish rapper, and uh, this is my beatboxing partner, Seamus McFamous. Say hi to him, Seamus. Hi. Yeah. This month we're learning about individuality. Discovering who you are meant to be so you can make a difference. <laughs> and I just came back from the Haggis family reunion. It, it was huge, and it was so great to see everyone, but, but you know what I discovered? Hey. No, no, not that everyone needed a bath, although that might be possible. I discovered that everyone there was an accountant. Hey. It's true! Everyone else in the family is an accountant! They count things! They count money! We're an accountant clan and I was the only one who has done something different, so I got to thinking maybe I shouldn't be the family oddball, the the maverick, or the one with real talent, if you will. Yeah, I, I. Alright, I'll get to the point. I'm gonna try to be an accountant and give up being a rapper! Hey! Seamus, this is what I need to do in order to carry on the Haggis family tradition. As part of my transformation from this day forward, I will no longer be MC Haggis, but will be known by my birth name, Oleander Haggis. Aye, aye, aye. Oleander. 
No longer will my voice be my instrument that defines who I am from now on. This will be the instrument of my legacy! Hey, eh? This abacus! Yes! This belonged to my grandfather, Alistair Haggis. Yeah, hey, I don't know. Yeah, I'm not sure how you do it. Hey! Make them spin real loud like a... Now stop it, Seamus! Change is always hard, but this is something I must do. Oh, I forgot something. My grandfather's clip-on tie. <clears throat> Thank you. Hey! Seamus, are you all right, my friend? Hey! I'm sorry! I know this is a shock, but I feel like it's what I should do as a part of my family. Hey! Wait, you, you think it's okay for me to be me? The me I want to be? I've already discovered how I was meant to be and my rapping helps others and makes a difference? Hey! You're, you're right! Seamus, I'm MC Haggis and it's okay to be me! Let's rap about it. Kick it. Oh. I'm MC Haggis. It's okay to be me. I'm a rapper by trade. My good friend Seamus just helped me see that's who I was meant to be so I could make a difference. And that's individuality. Word. <laughs> yeah. Hey. Mm -hmm. It's an abacus, yeah. Hey. All right. That was a family heirloom. I had that reevaluated on Antique Roadshow and I was gonna pay for my kid's college, but looks good there in the dirt. What are you doing? Hey! Oh, I got you. Yeah. Hey everyone, I'm Trey and I'm super excited to be here with you today because we have a super awesome big idea. Now, I want everyone to repeat this after me. Individuality. Discovering who you were meant to be so you can make a difference. That's right. It is so fun to discover different things about yourself, including the things you're good at. Which, speaking of, are you an artist? Do you enjoy drawing? Maybe today you'll find out if you do. We're going to play a little drawing game. Go ahead and get out a piece of paper and something to draw with. What we're going to do is we're going to give you 60 seconds to draw your teacher. Now, if you're watching this at home or somewhere else, draw the person you're with or just someone else. Now, here's what we're going to do. Get a good look at your teacher right now. Get your artistic juices flowing because we're going to put 60 seconds on the clock. Are you ready? Okay, here we go. Three, two, one, go. Wow, great job, artists. Now, I'm sure each of your drawings looks a little different. That's because you are unique. Even though many of us were drawing the same person, the way you see and think about your teacher is unique. Your artistic ability is unique. Now, we'd like you to take a few minutes to share your drawings with your teacher, your class, or whoever you're with. Pause the video, and when you're ready to keep going, hit play and join back in. Go ahead and do that now. Violets are blue, 
My name is Lawson, and I'm here for you. Ooh, I really like that sound cue. But if you were here, you'd be cheering too, right? Cause I'm an awesome poet, and I really know it. Did you catch that? I did it again. But not everyone can be an amazing poet. In fact, we're all good at different stuff. As you'll see in this great story I got from my friend Rob about his cousin Adam. Now Adam's class is having a talent show, which is pretty much Adam's worst nightmare. So he asked his mom to tell him what to do. Cause you're really good at ideas. And mom is like, maybe your sister can help. Adam's sister Rihanna is crazy talented. She's a straight A student and captain of the basketball team. Plus, she's harnessed the power of nuclear fission. Adam asks, what talent can I do? So, Rihanna shows him how to spin a basketball on her finger. But when Adam tries, well, it doesn't go so well. Rihanna says, don't worry, it takes lots of practice. And Adam says, that's okay. You're a great teacher. And then he goes to find his brother, Jaden. Jaden is also pretty talented. He plays three instruments and just published a novel called Peace and War. Jaden says that Adam could learn to play three blind mice on the harmonica for the talent show. So Adam gives it a go. And Adam's like, I don't think that's my gift. But then he adds that Jaden is the best brother ever for stopping right away to help. Adam tells mom, I have no talents. I'm not good at anything. But mom points out that Adam's actually been using his best gift all afternoon. And Adam's like, what, messing up? And mom says, encouraging people. Adam's eyebrows shoot up because he never knew that was a talent. So Adam decides he's going to ask to MC the talent show and say something good about every single act. Let's hear it for Rob. Doesn't he have an incredible voice? I'm going to be laughing for days after all of those great jokes from Noah. And when Adam finishes, he gets the biggest applause of the day. So kids, never try nuclear fission at home, but do always remember that individuality is discovering who you're meant to be so you can make a difference. Now, that's all for today. I gotta be on my way. Can you play that applause cue? Because I made a rhyme just for you. That's, that's what I like it, yep. I'll see you guys next time. I'm gonna eat a lime, and it's gonna be really fine. Top bot here. Hey everyone, I'm super excited for our teaching segment today because actually it's a very, very simple one today. Uh, hey Tucker, so uh, here I got you this, and I got a few things planned, and we're gonna do a lot of transitions. It's gonna actually be really good. I'm super excited about today. I've got all of this stuff. I'm really just feeling like I'm everywhere right now, and so I'm super excited, and we're just gonna make things a little flashy, a little, uh, little, you know, wonderful. Well, Sam, what do you, what do you, never, never mind. I was, I was just telling um, the people watching how simple our talking lesson was. And um, do, what no, exactly no, don't worry, don't worry, don't worry, do don't worry, don't worry. Don't worry. It's, okay. it's gonna be awesome, okay? This uh, is gonna be great, this but, is gonna be great. But what could it be, Sam? All I was planning on doing was reading a simple quote. In fact, let's, let's put that quote up on the screen real quick. Ralph Waldo Emerson was a famous American author, and he said, to be yourself. Nah, whoa, 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 whoa. Stop, 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 stop. That's my job. That's mine. You're, okay. you're interfering. Okay, 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 okay. You're Wait, crossing what? my line. But, but that's all the segment is. You were going to say... No, no, okay, first of all, I was going to dramatically read. Uh, okay, and so, look. You've got my stuff. You okay. know what's happening. You got my, you got my email and stuff, right? And you've been through it all. I think it went to my spam. Okay, yes. okay. Well, look, this is gonna be super great, and I need you to run out, uh, write out my titles on here. Um, uh, d work on the titles. I'll be right back. Uh, okay. So I, I actually do have Sam Snowed, and it says, and now for the dramatic reading of our quote from Ralph Waldo Emerson about individuality. It is the world's coolest. 
Oh boy. Well, howdy, y'all. <clears throat> and now for my tarnation quote. Being yourself in a big old world that's constantly well, 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 changing. Sam, 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 time, time out, time out. What, what are you doing? What are you wearing? I, I'm a cowboy. You said I should read this, and my friend Dallas, he's, he's like really into like rodeos and stuff. Okay, I know Dallas. And yeah. so I thought I could dress like him, and and I like, like, isn't that a pretty cool? Like, don't you, don't you? But, think that's a good but, like but that? Sam, this wasn't exactly what I was picturing today. Oh, sure, yeah, yeah, yeah. No, no, that's fine. I can, I can do it different. I had a, I actually did have a couple of backup pants here. Get that, get the next one ready oh, just in case. Okay. Um, and I'm gonna go get ready. I'll be right back. Okay. Oh, brother. Okay. And now for our singing sensation, our, <clears throat> oh boy, rock star Sam. <laughs> what is up, New York City, Madison Square Garden? I hope you guys are doing wow. great. Sing this with me. So be yourself. Sam, 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 your hair fell off. That's part of the act. Okay, and what, what exactly is this act? Like, what are Wait, you doing? I look, I, I'm a rock star. I, I could, yeah, I see that. So, now. like, my friend had a guitar, so I borrowed it, broke the guitar, found this at uh, Walmart, got this for 99 cents, and so I thought that I would be just like him. But, rock star. Sam, I don't need a rock star. I... I don't need Rockstar Sam, I need Sam Sam. Oh! Right, got it, got it, got it. Different direction again, that's okay. Yeah. I've got another one, so uh, get that last one up there. Okay. Uh, we'll be, let me go get that. Okay, surely this has to be the last one. Uh, and all right, now for the one and only Biker Sam. What's up, y'all? Ow. What's up? So, we're gonna do this quote here to be strong and be yourself, Sam. I'll be square. Sam. Huh? Why are you why are you having me introduce you as all these crazy versions of yourself? Well, I don't know. That's a bicycle helmet anyway. Those were cool though, right? That was a pretty cool helmet. It had like a brace on it. For a five year old. Sam, we think you're cool just the way you are. And here here's what I want you to try. What if you just read this quote exactly as it is, exactly as you normally would. Hmm. I guess I can do that. To be yourself in a world that is constantly trying to make you something else is the greatest accomplishment. You know, it's actually a pretty cool quote. See, Sam, these kids and apparently you are going to feel like someone is trying to put a label on you. Um, like maybe it's Biker Sam, or maybe it's uh, Rock Star Sam, or maybe it's uh, Cowboy Sam. Um, they might not be these labels or words, but whatever it is, you will feel like someone wants to be something different than you are at some point in your life. You don't have to listen to those labels, though. The most important label is this one. It's none of these, but this one right here, Sam. It's you. Me? Yeah. And there's all kinds of things that you can discover about yourself and use those things to make a difference. How do I discover things about myself? Sam, that's a great question. You know, part of it is just growing up. When I was a kid, I kind of wanted to be a cowboy or have a motorcycle, but as I grew up, that changed. So, you just have to get older? Well, no, you can also talk to adults you trust, like your mom, your dad, or teachers. They can sometimes, sometimes see, see things in you that you can't. By talking and listening to them, you can discover lots about yourself. You know, Tucker, sorry you got so crazy earlier, and thanks for having me read that quote. It actually, like, really helped. You know, it's pretty simple, Sam, but it's not easy. If you want to maximize your potential, it means discovering who you are meant to be so that you can make a difference. You know my notebooks are everywhere and filled with my ideas, my stories, and just anything that I'm thinking about. I try to take them everywhere so I can write even when I have a few minutes of time to myself at school. But I never really thought it was anything extraordinary. 
or unprecedented. I guess I thought everybody else did it too, or at least could if they wanted. And Jenna found my latest notebook. I was nervous, angry, frightened, and even a little bit anxious. I really didn't write things in there for anyone else to see. Jenna had this idea for us to work on a book together. It's a storybook for kids. She's going to do the illustrations and I'm writing the story. This is amazing. Marvelous. Unbelievable. Oh, I'm out of film, Corey. I wanted to take pictures of Sam and all his costumes so I could remember to be myself because he was struggling. Does, does this mean that I have to go back to being afraid of my selfies on the internet? No, no, no. I, I think we all learned a valuable lesson about just what it means to be more than just taking a selfie, taking a great picture and stuff like oh, that. You should, write, you should write that down. Well, how about we just go over the big idea one more time and focus on that. Okay, that's good. Yeah, you want one more time? Yeah, why don't you say it and I'll repeat it this time. Okay, let's do it. All right, individuality. Individuality. Is discovering who you were meant to be. Discovering who you were meant to be. So you can make a difference. So you can make a difference. <laughs> yes, sir. That's amazing. I'm looking forward to next month. Yeah, all right, see you guys. Oh, already. bye. I'm in the